Jackson, Jackie yeah. Johnson just talked about those water spouts. You said you saw some of the lightning storms and thunderstorms off the coast just a little bit ago, and those could turn into water spouts. And if they hit land, turn into tornadoes. That is exactly right, Elsa. So we've got the possibility of that throughout tonight and even into tomorrow. A lot of instability with this storm system. Now, the bulk of this storm has actually moved on through, but so much moisture and so much instability behind it. That's why our weather is going to stay very unsettled. So right now, we've got Sky 2 over Hollywood trying to look downtown. A bit cloudy out there, of course. The rain is still coming down very heavy at times. Some areas seeing drying conditions. Some areas still seeing some heavy rain. And it is going to be like this intermittent storms throughout the rest of tonight through tomorrow. Uh, so let's take a look at where we're seeing most of the wet weather. Of course, that beautiful snow continues to come down at Big Bear. But as we head into the lower elevations in San Bernardino and Riverside, we do have some heavy rain uh, causing some problems on the roadways. And in LA County, uh, Arcadia, Glendora, right around the 210, El Monte, Hacienda Heights, uh, we are looking at some heavy rain that just moved out of Downey. These are fast moving storm cells moving right around 30 miles an hour. Uh, but they are still dumping heavy amounts of rain as they move on through. Uh, the bulk of the severe weather will actually stay to our south today, right around San Diego County. Uh, but again, although we've had most of the moisture from the storm system move through, we do still have some cells developing out in the ocean waters. And again, those are the ones I'm concerned about because they do have lightning right now. Uh, I've been watching this cell in particular just off the coast. So I want to zoom in and tell you about where it will be. It should be in Santa Monica in the next uh, 45 minutes, a little over. Over an hour at Gore Hills. Uh, we're looking at an hour and a half in downtown LA, and then about two hours that cell will make its way into Anaheim. So we still do have a flash flood warning in effect. This is for the burn areas and eastern portions of LA County. This will continue all the way through 645 tonight. That's the last of the flash flood warnings so far, but the watches will continue all the way through tomorrow morning. And this is also for the burn areas because we do expect some isolated heavy cells to continue to move through not only tonight, but even into tomorrow. Winter storm warnings for the mountain areas will continue all the way through 4 a.m. on Friday because we do have heavy amounts of snow. So the last few days we've had a couple feet of snow, a couple more today, and then you've got the blowing snow with winds gusting out of the south at 15 to 25 miles an hour, and then again gusts up to 55 miles an hour a possibility. High surf advisories lasting through Friday night. A uh, surf tonight through tomorrow will be kicking up to around 15 feet. Temperatures well below average. We've had highs about 10 degrees below where they should be this time of year. 46 degrees currently in Van Nuys, so again, very cold out there. Uh, let's take a look at the future cast. I'm going to put it into motion just to show you how much instability we will continue to see overnight tonight. Not like those typical storm cells or storm systems where they just move on through and then we see clearing behind it. That's not going to be the case with this latest storm. So uh, right around tonight, we could still see some isolated thunderstorms. In fact, right around 11 o'clock, tune into the 11 p.m. news here on CBS because we will still have some strong storms moving on through and also more heavy mountain snow even into 3 a.m. So get ready for another wet morning commute, especially in the Inland Empire right around 5, 6 a.m. That's when the heavy rain and the snow will be moving through your area and, and we will have uh, still some instability throughout the day on Thursday into Friday, uh, but the bulk of the severe weather will be moving through overnight tonight as well. So just be prepared for some heavy rain overnight tonight into your morning commute. Now, uh, this storm system will linger through around Friday, but we've got another chance of rain on Saturday. I'll break down your full seven day forecast coming up a little later in the newscast. Back to you.